Hey, it's Wit from Landing Lens. Today I'm going to walk you through how to build a car counting application using drone photography and landing lens. Let's get started. First thing we're going to talk about today is image capture. And this is often the most important step to any computer vision project. Um, in particular, we're going to look at capturing imagery with drones. And to help with that, I have this little diagram here that kind of describes how I did it for this project. Um, so uh, I have a DJI Mavic drone. And as you can imagine, taking images at a certain height that don't overlap and double count things can be challenging if you're doing it manually. Luckily, there's a lot of great open source software out there that makes this really easy. In particular, I use this software called DroneLink, which links directly to the DJI drone and allows you to essentially specify an area that you would like it to go and create a essentially a puzzle piece collection of images that represent the whole thing. Um, so what I did was I essentially just uh, uh, went on this map, sketched the area I wanted it to go automatically capture, and off it went and collected these images. Um, in particular, things I was thinking about was the height of my drone, which determined how big the objects were in it, as well as how much I wanted it to overlap. So I don't want to double count cars, but I don't want to miss them. Um, and then also thinking about time of day, the shadow can heavily impact what a car looks like. And so ideally I tried to take my images at uh, uh, midday, although because it's the winter and we're in the Northern hemisphere here, um, there is uh, still a little bit of a shadow. So with that, now let's get towards uh, training a model. So I'm gonna go into landing lens, create a project for us. And we're gonna do uh, object detection model here. And then uh, instead of labeling, we're actually just gonna skip that part and upload some images that I've already labeled. So to do that, I'll go upload more options and we're gonna upload a Pascal VOC label format. So let me do that here. Okay, and we see our images start to load and we'll upload those and the corresponding labels. Great, so our upload is completed and now we can take a look at the labeled images. And here you can see I've labeled individual cars in the green and then have labeled trucks as a different class. And on this one, you can see we labeled the truck with a car on its back, which is kind of funny. Um, and we're gonna train this model and uh, take a look at how accurately it uh, predicts on our holdout set. So let's do that. Great, and so now Landing Lens is taking care of everything for me, including provisioning a GPU, sending all my data up to the GPU, training the model, scoring it, and then returning all the inference results here in Landing Lens. So I'll be right back once this training is complete. Great, and so now our model training is complete. We can take a look at our performance. Looks pretty good. Uh, we can see specific errors here if we wanted to get into more details, but for my purposes, I'm just looking for guesstimates of car counts. So this performance is actually well beyond what I need to achieve that task. Um, in particular, we can also turn off this ground truth and you can see the predictions being made there. Uh, purple for truck, green for car. Um, so great, this model's looking really good. Now our next step is to deploy it to a cloud endpoint that we can ping essentially with images in the future and get inference results back. And it's actually these inference results that we'll then do the counting on. It's a JSON package. Um, so to do that, we're gonna hit deploy and we're gonna hit create endpoint and deploy. And we'll say drone two, I've created one earlier. And we'll see that uh, a cloud endpoint has been created to host our deployment and we can hit deploy. And now it's been successfully deployed. 
and we are ready to roll. All I need to do is copy these curl instructions here and add them to my application. And my application will quickly ping this endpoint with an image of some traffic and then return a JSON package detailing uh, where cars and trucks are and also how many of them there are, which we can then count with a quick script and then serve up to our application to tell someone how many cars are on the road today. So in short, that's how to build a car and truck counting application with Landing Lens. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to listen and feel free to add comments, questions, enhancement suggestions in the comments below this showcase. And additionally, if you have cool projects of your own that you'd like to share, please send them to us and we'd be happy to post them to the showcase section so that other folks can benefit from your cool projects. So thanks so much and have a wonderful day.